Hello guys and happy Friday. Hope everybody's doing okay. Uh, today I'm going to show you some new pocket holsters I've designed for the North American Arms uh, mini revolvers. So these are still in the works. They're not quite finished up yet, but I was impatient so I thought I'd show them to you before they get finished completely. Hmm. Take a sip there. So no the North American Arms uh, mini revolvers are all pretty close in size. Pretty close in size enough to where you can kind of group them into the couple main categories here so that's what I'm gonna do on the website I'm gonna try to get these up tonight it might be up there tomorrow which is Saturday um, if you need one before that you know you can message me all my in info is gonna be in the description anyhow so they'll be in three categories and I'll list the models on each category as well just so nobody has any kind of confusion and everybody gets what they need the first time these are still all currently being built to order um, hopefully here in the future this is the kind of thing I'll have in stock so you can order and get it in a few days anyway let's dive into this so you got your three main sizes here you got your small your medium this is the medium and the large and then you got well I'm just, it's just gonna be black widow I haven't made one for the black widow yet but I will so you'll have small medium large or black widow what these are is pocket holsters with ammo wallets. There's a lot of different companies make them. I've made one like this before. I changed the design a little bit, but not much. Um, it holds five extra rounds of ammo. This being the small version with a 22 long rifle, you got five rounds of 22 long rifle in there. Uh, I don't sew all the way up to the hammer. That way your hammer's still protected, but there's no pressure on it that might be accidentally pushing it back by any means or anything like that so you're covered but you're not on you're not pressure so there's that there's no clip or anything this is strictly just a pocket holster with some extra rounds we all know these aren't the fastest reloader but it's nice to have a few here and there you know same with this one this would be your it could hold 22 long rifle or magnums the only thing is with the long rifles it's just gonna sit in there a little deeper but It'll still work nonetheless. This happens to be for like a pug, non, uh, magnum. Same deal. This is your medium size. <clears throat> this is your large. There goes your magnum or your 22 long rifle. Same thing. Hammers. Hammer. If you know that one wasn't broke off. So let me show you what the categories would go to. So the small would be this, like this one right here. This is the one and one eighth inch barrel in 22 long rifle this is not the magnum frame this is strictly long rifle you can't swap cylinders that's all she is also in that category of small is the short this is the one that shoots the shorts they are this one's a little bit longer by about eighth of an inch or so as you can see so it'll still work it'll be a little big in here but nothing you can't deal with right still works so see that's a comparison for what they look like. So if you have a 22 short or the 22 long rifle with the one and one eighth inch barrel, you would be wanting to order the small size. Next up is the pug, and this is going to fit two different sizes. This is the, or this is the medium, sorry, and it's going to fit two different sizes. It's going to fit the pug, or it's going to fit the one and one eighth inch magnum frame. So these are the same size barrel, one and one eighth inch, but you see the frame's larger because it's got to be able to hold that larger cylinder to fit the 22 mags in there. See that? So medium, your pug, your one and five, one and one eighths magnum. See how close in size they are? So here is the pug in there. Here is the magnum. And like I said, you got five extra rounds go in that little pocket got a slight curve to it and over time it will conform to your leg as it gets broken in. So then we go to the large, same thing, ammo pocket, curve, like I said, hammers open. So this is going to be for your, this is a sidewinder. This is the, uh, what is this, the wasp or the bug out? I think it's the bug out. This is the bug out, right? Somebody let me know in the comments, they'll correct me. Either way, this is the the other model they have here, this would be your Ranger 2 and your 1 and 5 eighths inch with the Magnum cylinder. 
one and five inch eighths inch barrel with the magnum cylinder so like i said that all fit you got your sidewinder perfect this is the ranger 2 perfect we're going to call it the bug out because i think that's what it is perfect one and five eighths inch barrel perfect so you see why i grouped them all together i'm sure it's evident now but that's how it goes small medium large and like i said when they go on the website they'll have the models listed on there too so there's no confusion especially for people that don't happen to see this video uh and i will be making one for the black widow you see it's got a longer barrel uh it would probably i mean it still kind of works but your your trigger sticking out there you might be able to work it in there i will be making a dedicated one for the black widow so no worries there but in a pinch that's how it goes so once again to recap here's your models and what they go for uh where did that guy go there he is hopefully we're still even in frame but you got your small your small one right here which will do the shorts or the one and one eighth inch long rifle you have the medium that's the medium does the one and one eighth inch magnum or the pug and then you have the large which is going to do the bug out the ranger two the sidewinder the one and five eighth inch barrel and then i'll have one for the blackout i mean for the uh, black widow as well if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below uh, these will be available for colors in black or brown your pick if you wanted them right or left-handed i can do that too no big deal like i said as of right now i'm making them all to order so that's the benefit of that custom experience so you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below hope you have an excellent weekend i'm trying to dodge lightning bolts here in florida but so far so good have a great day guys